Today we're making Chinese style braised chicken feet. It's either you love it or you hate it. But for those of you who love it, you know what I mean when I say smooth, succulent, rich, savory, most importantly, good for your skin. One of those things where I personally loved it as a child and I was disgusted by it as I was growing up and then I learned to love it again. But anyhow, and the only chicken feet dish that I would eat is actually a braised chicken feet dish. So this is the recipe I'm sharing with you today. First of all, we have our chicken feet. This is about a kilo's worth of chicken feet. So what we're gonna do is we're going to be removing yeah, the claws from the chicken feet. All right, so we're done with trimming off all the claws from the chicken feet. Now we're going to marinate. Yeah, I'm going in with a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. This is going to give a nice color. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon sesame oil. Give this a good mix around. Beautiful. Okay, let this sit for a good 20 minutes, half an hour. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna deep fry these. Once we're ready, we can remove this chicken feet. Now this is going to be quite chaotic, all right? Because chicken feet contains a lot of collagen and a lot of moisture. So once you put it in, it's going to splatter like a mother. Boop. Yes. So have your shield ready, chuck it in and cover it up, okay? We're going to fry this for about approximately two minutes, okay? And then we're going to remove it and chuck it into cold water. All right, so two minutes later, we're going to remove the chicken feet. It's nice and golden now. See how I'm holding the shield to protect myself? This is how you should do it. Okay, this is the color we're looking for. And into cold water. All right, now I'm gonna keep this in the fridge for a good an hour, an hour and a half before we start braising them. The reason we deep fry the chicken feet and soak it into ice water is because that gives it that signature sort of wrinkly skin that, or some people call it tiger skin, that you get with the Tim Sum style chicken feet. To me, I find that it, it's a much nicer texture of chicken feet compared to just being sort of soft and fat-like texture. After about an hour to two hours of soaking this uh, chicken feet, you can see that it sort of wrinkled up the skin and that's exactly what we're looking for. I'm gonna cook it straight in the pressure cooker. It's gonna be a lot faster to soften the chicken feet in the pressure cooker. All right, first off, aromatics. Just rustic some ginger. It's about 40 grams of ginger. Skin on and all, doesn't matter. This is roasted garlic. Okay, we're just going in with about four cloves. Slightly smack will do. Skin and all goes in, doesn't matter because in the skin is also where all that aroma of the roasting is, okay, smokiness. Now, I here have some dried shiitake mushrooms that I've soaked up. We're just gonna remove the stem. Some oil. In goes the ginger and the garlic. Now, we wanna get this nice and fragrant before we add on the other ingredients. 
All right, once you start to smell the ginger and the garlic, I'm going in with dried chilies. About three pieces of dried chili and these soaked mushrooms. Squeeze out the liquid from the mushroom. Chuck that in. Get it nice and aromatic. All right, now we're gonna go in with about two tablespoons of fermented bean paste. Saute the bean paste, get it nice and fragrant. Three tablespoons of soy sauce, but one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. White pepper. Now we go in with our chicken feet. To that, I'm adding in one tablespoon of brown sugar and all of the soaking liquid from the mushrooms. All right, we're adding water. This is to just enough to almost cover the chicken. Give everything a good stir. About a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. Some salt. Close this baby up, set it to chef, KPA, chicken, let's go. All right guys, so you can see now that the chicken is done. It is really, really tender. Let me pick one up and show you how tender it is. Look at that, so, so soft. And this is exactly what we're looking for. Once the chicken is ready from the pressure cooker, I have turned it into a sauce thickening mode so it reduces the gravy. You can reduce it to how you desire. All right, get a nice sprig of spring onion. I'm using both the whites and the greens for a contrast of color. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is my braised chicken feet recipe. Enjoy. All right, now for the moment that I've been waiting for, a taste test. You know it's good when the bone just spits out as clean as this and with each bite you're left with this mouth fill that just leaves you wanting to go in for more. Mm. Look at that. Clean, ladies and gentlemen, clean. That's how soft and succulent this is. This with porridge or even just a steaming bowl of rice. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you try this recipe out. It doesn't take much ingredients, it's super delicious. I promise you, you will not regret it if you're someone who loves chicken feet, okay? Or even if you don't like chicken feet, give it a try. You never know, it might just convince you like how it did me. I'll see you next week, guys. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Love y'all. Peace.